Don't mind me and my soda. What's up Sailor Guardians? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon. Today I am reviewing something that I've been looking forward to for a very long time. This is the beautiful Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Moon Crystal Hair Iron by Tescom. Now Tescom is a Japanese company. So when I was ordering this way back in, I believe it was December, and I ordered this through my proxy, I was a little concerned that it would not work in America because of the differences in voltage and amperage. But luckily it does work and it works just fine. So I'm able to bring you this review now after I've used it several times over the past two months or so. So I will put the purchase price right here and you can also find the Tescom website with a bunch of information about this hair iron down below in the description. This is not my first rodeo when it comes to reviewing hair appliances. I actually reviewed the Dyson hair dryer over on my old tech channel so I guess you could say this is the second time I'm reviewing a hair appliance so I have a good idea of what I should be looking for when it comes to electronic appliances like this. So I'll not only talk about the Sailor Moon fandom part but also also, what should be expected when it comes to using appliances like a hair iron or a straightener or a curler. So right off the bat, I do already have this out of the box, but I did want to show you the box and what was included in here because it's pretty cool. So the box itself is really pretty. It's got this beautiful print on both edges and that wraps around all the way to the back. We also have this matte gray. It's almost like an OB that wraps around the entire box. And this also has this beautiful gold printing for Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. And it has the name of the product, the Moon Crystal Hair Iron. That's also found on the top side. And we also have some information about Tescom right here. On the back, we do have a Toei sticker, so you know that it is a legitimately licensed product. We have the 25th anniversary logo in the corner. And there's also some information about the features that you can find in the hair iron right here. Obviously, since this is a Japanese product, everything is written in Japanese, but it's pretty easy to understand what is going on here. So as you can see right here, it does say the AC voltage is 100 to 240 volts, which is a little bit different than what you can find here in America. However, it does work in our power plugs. It also goes in a range from 100 to 200 Celsius. So you would want to consider converting that over to Fahrenheit so that you don't burn your hair. And then we have the inside of the box. Let me show you what's included. Okay, I straight up have dog hair in the packaging. Please don't mind me. In here, it was packaged very nicely. It does come with a quick start guide on how to use it, which I did read through already. Again, all of this is in Japanese, so I would recommend converting it using Google Translate. Google Translate is not perfect, but it's better than nothing. Now, this is cool and actually inspired me with this product. So this is a little travel pouch. How cool is that? You get a little travel pouch, which is heat protected protected so you can take your hair iron with you. So if you intend to travel with this iron, simply slip it into the little slot. You can strap it down with the Velcro, which comes undone like so. The power cable does include a little Velcro strap so you can Velcro strap all of the additional cable, loop that up, put it inside the travel pouch, wrap it up, and you are good to go. I love that the travel pouch also includes the same kind of really adorable print. You have this gold foil that says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon on it, and it completely covers the hot part of the iron. The fact that it comes with its own custom travel pouch makes me think this is going to be my new traveling hair accessory. And I cannot wait to put it in my luggage and take it with me all over the place, wherever I might intend to go. Hopefully that's Japan. So as you can see, this plug does not have a larger ground side, but it is the same size as our regular plugs. So you can use this in the United States, even though the voltage is slightly different. Now I will warn, if you are purchasing appliances from Japan that require themselves to be plugged in, you do need to check the voltage compared to your own country. While this product does work in our country, it may not work in yours. So definitely check, see if you need an adapter or a converter because you very well might. Now, before I plug this in and get it all hot, I'm going to show you a few of the really cute little features that I found on this hair straightener. 
The first one was we have Sailor Moon written right here into the hot part of the iron. This right here at the top, you will see some precipitation, some humidity inside of there. That's because this can be filled with water and used as a steamer. So in order to do that, you take out this little plug, ta -da, fill that up with water, put the plug back into place, and then slide it right into the top of the iron. Now, when you press it down, it turns into a steamer. The steam comes out of these little holes that are within the hair iron. Some other features that don't necessarily cause any difference with how the iron works. There's this very pretty little pink gemstone right at the top of the user interface. We also have a whole bunch of really pretty stars and a little crescent moon, and there's also Sailor Moon's compact right at the bottom. This whole thing is pink, and I love the pink color. It's very pretty. There's also a really beautiful crescent moon hanging from the power cable. Look how pretty that is. It's got some little gemstones in it, some little crystals, and it's kind of a rose gold color. It's very pretty. And yes, I am wearing hollow taco in case you were wondering on my nails. Now with this hair straightener, there's actually a couple of things that you can do with it. Not only can you use it, as a hair straightener and slide it through your hair. But you can also switch it over to the curl side by clicking this button, which slides it from one side to another, locking it into place, and you can turn it into a curler. When you do that, it locks the straightener part into place so that the middle piece will not open and you can use it to curl your hair around the barrel like you would any other curler. So it's basically a two-in-one appliance. You can not only use it as a hair straightener, but as a hair curler as well. However, I had different experiences with both, so I will show you some video and also walk you through some of the little quirks to this that I found. So one of the first things that I noticed is I don't like this curler or hair straightener as much as I like my normal ones that I usually use. Here's why. I actually have them plugged in over here. So first off, this is my hair straightener that I usually use. This is professional equipment that was recommended to me by my hairstylist. The reason being is because I can control the temperature over here, which you can do on the Sailor Moon one as well. It also auto shuts off which the Sailor Moon one does as well. The clamp is very, very smooth and it has this piece at the top at which you can hold it. The big difference though that I found is that these are very different sizes. So this is an extra long barrel from BioIonic. This one is pretty short in relative size. Check out the difference in sizing when I hold them up side by side. So if you have really, really long hair, you may find yourself having to wrap your hair around or take a slower time with this because the barrel is a lot shorter. If you have really long hair, this one is a lot easier to use. My hair is relatively short right now because I recently got it cut, but when it was longer, I find that I'm able to do an entire strand of hair all the way from the roots to the bottom with no issues with a longer barrel. The clamps on both of these work exactly the same for a curler. You put pressure on it to open it, and then you take pressure off to close them. If you've never used a barrel curler that has a clamp, this is going to be a bit of a learning curve compared to a wand. Wands generally don't have any kind of clamp, so you have to use your hand to apply pressure. However, with a clamp, you don't necessarily have to do that. Now with the hair straightener, let me switch this back over to the hair straightener side. There you go. The hair straightener that I usually use is also from BioIonic, and this one also has a locking mechanism Mechanism. It also has a temperature control through the center and it has a user interface to show you how hot it is. So it can go all the way up to 410, which is pretty comparable to 200 Celsius, which I believe is just under 400 Fahrenheit on the Sailor Moon one. And this one I can also control up and down depending on how high I want it to go. Oh, it can go really hot, 450, that's crazy. That's like cooking cookies. Let's get it down to something under 400, there we go. So with my regular hair iron, you will notice that the iron is a little bit bigger for the Sailor Moon one than the Bio-Ionic one. You'll also notice that I have to apply pressure to open the Sailor Moon one. I apply pressure to close the Bio-Ionic one. So that was a bit of a learning curve for me because I'm so used to that muscle memory of applying pressure to close as opposed to applying pressure to open. 
I may have burnt myself a couple of times because I did it backwards and that was a little frustrating, but that was just because of what I'm used to. One thing I always look for whenever I'm looking to purchase a new hair iron is does it have an auto shut off? That means that if you leave it plugged in for a very long period of time, it will turn off automatically, which will potentially save your life or save your house from a fire. I like the Sailor Moon curling iron and hair iron because it does auto shut off after 30 minutes and it will give you a warning too. It starts beeping and it counts and as soon as that countdown is done, it shuts off. You can automatically turn it back on if you're not done yet and it will immediately hit the same temperature that it was at. But if you are done and you forget about it, it will auto shut off. The bio ionic ones auto shut off after about 60 minutes. So a big difference there kind of depends on how long it takes you to do your hair. It takes me about an hour to straighten my hair because it's so thick and coarse as you can see in some of my B-roll footage. So I always have to turn this on a second time in order to finish my hair. Now, another thing that I noticed when I was using this is that the clamp is not as tight as I was expecting it to be. What I mean by that is your hair can easily slip out of it whenever you're using it. This is not so obvious whenever you're using it as a hair straightener because it is pretty tight as a hair straightener. But if you switch it over to curling, the clamp is not as tight as I was hoping it would be to hold my hair. My hair easily slips out of the clamp, which means that I have to pay very, very in tune, close attention to make sure that my hair isn't falling out and it's not actually curling anything. So I'll just grab some of my hair to kind of give you an, a demo of what I'm talking about. So I'm not doing this with a mirror, so please don't judge me too harshly. So usually what I would do with one of these is take it down to the very ends and then start curling it around. But you'll notice that because there's not as much hair at the ends, because it is layered, that means that it's having a harder time holding my hair inside the clamp. So I have to start a little bit higher up before I start that curl. As an example of that, I could start about an inch away from the ends and then start curling. That also means that I have to hold this end in order to get that curl to reach all the way to the ends. And then I can easily take it out and it will give me that curl. It's not on right now, so you won't see that curl, but you can see it from the B-roll. I do think that this one takes me a little bit longer to curl my hair compared to my longer barrel, which kind of makes sense since I can get my hair done much faster with a longer barrel, but this one does still get the job done and it does give me some really nice loose curls. When using it as a straightener, it took me about the same amount of time that it takes me to use my Bioionic, so not much of a difference there. I actually didn't use the steamer very much because I always put in some kind of heat protectant into my hair before I use a hair straightener. I use some kind of heat protectant, especially on the ends since I color my hair and I don't want it to get too damaged or dry. I also use oil. So the oils definitely help with the ends being too dry, especially here in the Denver climate. It does get very, very dry here. I do not wash my hair every day. It is coarse, it is very thick, and it is curly. In fact, my mom used to call me Shirley Temple because my hair is so curly. I have lots and lots of ringlets. When I brush it out, it turns into a giant poof ball because there's so many different curls and all of those curls have some kind of variations. So I, I forget what the code is for my specific hair, but you can tell from the video that I captured uh, at my vanity when I was using these, how big my hair is whenever it's just curled. If you do use the steamer, I found that I had to use up pretty much a full thing of water in order to steam my hair, but I did not feel any kind of difference with the texture or the softness of my hair, whether or not I used the steamer. I think that might be because I use those heat protectants early on to make sure my hair doesn't get damaged from any kind of hot tools. And between these two, I 
don't really feel a difference in terms of softness or how it makes my hair feel. Of course, you may have a different experience because everybody has different hair. So I am just talking about my very coarse hair, which is already so thick and coarse that it doesn't always feel most amazingly soft, unless it's like my virgin hair that doesn't have any hair dye. Now I'm gonna turn these on side by side to show you how long this one takes to heat up. I did notice it takes quite a bit of time to get to the same temperature as this one. So I'll turn them on at the same time. Okay, they're both on. When I turned it on, one of the immediate things I noticed was this one makes a buzzing noise. That might be because of the voltage difference. It might be because of the steamer. I'm not really sure. So if anybody else in the US has purchased one of these and noticed that it makes a little bit of a noise, let me know. I'm curious if that's just me or if that's an issue with the curling iron itself or if that's just part of how it was manufactured. It could be, I have no clue. Okay, so this one just hit 395 Fahrenheit. Do y'all hear that? That's the hair straightener. My normal one does not make that noise. Still waiting. Hey Google, what is 200 Celsius in Fahrenheit? About the same. Oh, there it goes. It finally hit 200 Celsius. That took a long time, right? I mean, when you compare it to how fast this one heats up, this one takes a really long time. So I'm gonna turn this off because I don't wanna burn the fabric that's sitting on my cloth right now. Oh, and that's another thing I wanted to mention too, is with this one, this is very soft touch and it's kind of got a rubberized texture. It is hot around here, but it's not going to burn you. This one, the entire gold piece is heated. It's, it's hot all the way around because it's a curling iron. So it's very much built just like this curling iron is. That means that if you touch this, it's going to burn. So I noticed when I was using one of these, which I use all the time, I'm able to take this all the way up to my roots and be able to get a really, really nice piece of hair all the way up to my roots, up to my skin. With this one, it's a little bit harder to get all the way up to your roots and get like all those frizzies and everything because it is heated all the way to the edges. So you have to be very, very careful with how close you get it to your scalp or you could burn yourself. And that did happen to me several times because I'm so used to having a little bit of a buffer. You can see the steam coming off of this right now, but it's pretty much empty. Now, does it pull my hair? No, I would not say so. It's nice that it has full coverage around all the edges. So there is no rubber at the end. There's no stoppers. So there's not really anything that your hair could pull on, which I very much appreciate. Now, if you want to lock or unlock the temperature, that is all controlled by the down button right here. You double click it to turn off the lock and then you can turn the temperature up or down as required. The lock will automatically turn back on if you don't press any buttons for a bit. You'll notice that the little cloud icon, which is the steam icon, disappears once you hit 130 Celsius. That's basically Tescom's way of telling you that you should be using the steam if you go over 130, you can do without under that. I love that the little user interface screen has this awesome little silhouette of Sailor Moon. There's no usability reason why it's there, it's just cute. So overall, do I like this product? I would say yes, I do. I have tried many hair curlers and mini straighteners to use whenever I travel and use in like 
hotel rooms or my mom's guest bedroom or whatever. And oftentimes I feel like those take a really long time and they're too small to be able to use with my hair. This one I would say is at the minimal size that I could use with my really thick coarse hair and still be able to come out with a nice quality end result and it not take too long. It does have a few quirks that I'm not necessarily a fan of. Like the curler clamp is not as strong as I would like it to be to hold down my hair and apply that pressure to get that really nice smooth curl. I don't really use the steamer so that's a feature that I could do without and it really does take a long time to heat up. Other than that though I see no reason why not to get one of these. It works really well for my hair, takes about the same amount of time as long as I'm not using it to curl my hair. And because this is a two-in-one product it's going to save some space in my luggage, which is always important when it comes to taking like a two week trip to Japan and you're trying to pack everything into a carry on. That's something that I do pretty normally. So since this comes with the travel pouch and it's a two in one product and it's really easy to use, I think that this will belong in my luggage. That way I will never have to worry about forgetting my hair curler or my iron at home. This can just live in my suitcase. It's good to go. I hope that my review helps. I tried to get footage of the entire process from start to finish in terms of getting my hair ready. Now I don't have to do that every day. So no, I don't have to sit in front of a mirror every single day and straighten my hair. I usually do it only a couple of times a week, which not only protects my hair from overuse of hot tools, but it also saves a lot of time every morning if I'm able to just like put my hair up in a bun overnight and then re-wear it the next day. In fact, I did want to mention as well, every video that you're seeing right now on my channel, I've done my hair with this hair straightener. So if you've seen it curled or if you've seen it straightened on my channel in the recent summer months, that is from me using this. So I've definitely gotten some good use out of it. I think that's about everything that I wanted to cover with this product. Let me know if you purchased it. And especially I'm curious if anybody else out there has gotten one of these and if you've had similar experiences with it. If you have thinner hair or if you have more coarse hair than I do, I would love to know if you got one of these and if you had similar results or if your results varied, definitely let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more full in-depth reviews like this one. And until next time, my name is Sailor Snubs. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate and love each and every one of you. Jane.